ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு யோர் பீடியா திஸ் இஸ் சந்திரசேகர் ஃபேக்கல்டி ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் எட் யோர் பீடியா ஸோ திஸ் வீடியோ இஸ் ஹெல்ப்ஃபுல் ஃபார் த பீப்புள் ஹூ ஆர் ஆஸ்பைரிங் டு ப்ரிப்பேர் ஃபார் ஹெச்பிசிஎல் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஸோ யூ ஆல் நோ தேட் ரீசெண்ட்லி ரீசெண்ட்லி ஹெச்பிசிஎல் அனௌன்ஸ் அ நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன் விதவுட் கேட் இன் பிரான்ச்சஸ் லைக் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்டேஷன் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் அண்ட் மெக்கானிக்கல் அண்ட் இன் தீஸ் பிரான்ச்சஸ் தெர் ஆர் சம் அதர் பிரான்ச்சஸ் ஆல்சோ ஸோ ப்ரைமரிலி எஸ் ஸோ திஸ் வீடியோ இஸ் அபவுட் த ப்ரிப்ரேஷன் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி and uh, uh, i can say like analysis of the syllabus uh, regarding to hpcl electrical paper regarding to electrical paper see a uh, few points i want to uh, uh, disclose with you at this point of time about hpcl examination see hpcl examination question paper is very very easy when compared to any other examination paper okay but the main point here when you are preparing for hpcl you have to remember is uh, hpcl is covering the areas where this gate and other exams are not covering for example if you take a subject like network analysis in subject like network analysis the concept of uh, self inductance mutual inductance uh, uh, those uh, uh, formulas we we rarely or we will we will study see students generally will study that but that is not that important for gate examination but whereas in hpcl previous papers one or two questions more than two questions has been appeared in single paper or from that area okay self induction mutual induction paper uh, concept right so the point what we have to understand here is uh, the hpcl examination is not the examination which is going to test your depth uh, whereas it is the examination which is going to test your width uh, yes so uh, when we talk about the syllabus of hpcl examination see syllabus this is a syllabus he mentioned mostly all the questions are from the mentioned syllabus only in electrical paper yeah he is not going beyond the pip, uh, syllabus he mentioned but there are some questions from material science not exactly from material science uh, i can say like uh, suppose uh, in uh, electrical machines we are using we are uh, there is a concept called transformer in transformer we are using uh, uh, i can say like uh, some materials right so uh, he may ask a question on uh, the concept of uh, that material uh, conductivity or uh, i can say like uh, susceptibility or uh, i can say like uh, permittivity or permeability okay the question may be like this so what is the permittivity of a uh, so and so material or uh, which one uh, which of the following is having the highest permittivity he will give some materials so there might be some questions from that area not completely from material science but the materials what we are using in electrical engineering from that they may ask one question yeah see the first uh, in, in the syllabus this is the syllabus from official notification of hpcl examination hpcl website yeah uh see first uh, topic is electrical circuits second topic is electromagnetic fields yeah here one point i want to convey to you generally electrical engineers will feel that electromagnetic fields are not that much required for the gate examination preparation in gate one or two questions will come but in hpcl examination it is very important not in depth as i told you already he may ask you the statement of gauss law he will give statement of gauss law then he will mention the above statement belongs to which of the following gauss law right so like that and uh, uh, ampere circuit law states what what uh, uh, is the outcome of ampere circuit law so this way questions direct question okay but you must know all the corners of the subject see i am stressing on this point you should not leave any single point in the entire subject don't feel that sir uh, this area is not important it is for the gate examination okay uh, uh, as uh, since uh, decades uh, the gate examination is getting conducted we know uh, which area is important uh, which area is having the probability of getting a very good question in gate examination suppose if you take electrical machines definitely one question from induction machine uh, from its uh, characteristics or from its speed control like that see if you go for transformer definitely one question from transformer efficiency right or if you come for electric power system definitely one question from fault analysis and stability analysis definitely one question stability analysis uh, from equal area criteria right if you take most of the papers uh, equal area criteria one question will definitely come but here uh, we can't say like that in hpcl examination from the previous papers analysis right yeah the third topic is electrical machines fourth topic is a uh, power systems right yeah next one is electrical and electronic measurements yes significant number of questions were asked from this topic electrical and electronic measurement 
of a significant number of questions. In fact, uh, the good problems means uh, I, I won't say difficult problems. The problems where you have to at least you have to apply the brain have been given previously from electrical and electronic measurements paper uh, subject. Network analysis, uh, simple questions only where just uh, the net from network analysis the question has been asked from the concept of KVL, KCL, KVL, KCL, uh, voltage division and current division if you verify the previous papers mostly, right? And the power electronics. In power electronics, uh, the important areas for gate examination, the first chapter where you are going to study the basics of uh, all the devices like TRIAC, DIAC, GTO, all these things uh, that is not important for uh, gate examination. Okay, SCR basics like uh, theory of SCR, okay, and uh, snubber circuit snapper circuit all these are not that much important for gate examination for gate examination from check second chapter onwards it is very important but for hbcl examination definitely one question you get from first chapter that is from acr triac diac or gto power diode power diode on these uh, 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 reverse recovery voltage on these things uh, definitions definitely one question one or more than one question you may get okay so entirely see if i summarize all the points of my this video the very important thing is you need not to study in depth for this HPCL examination. The time that is there with us is sufficient to cover the entire syllabus if you start your preparation from today. And you all are equally eligible or you, you all are equally having the probability of getting selected for this HPCL examination. Why? Because it is not the examination of uh, testing your, uh, I can say like uh, depth of the concept. It is going to test only the width of the concept. Like, uh, you, have you covered total portion which has been mentioned by the uh, this uh, uh, notification or not? That is only important. All the questions, 85 out of 85 questions are technical. Total number of questions are 170 in the paper. So 85 are uh, non-technical, remaining 85 are purely technical. 85 out of 85 technical questions are dead easy. There is no single tough question you find in technical paper, 85 out of 85. But the only point is, uh, in 85 questions, you may find some questions which you did not came across in your uh, graduation or if you take in coaching somewhere in your coaching. Uh, because uh, uh, mostly coachings will cover the important depth, difficult depth areas, but not the total width as time does not permit. But here we in your PDI is going to cover uh, the complete syllabus which is related to this HPCL examination in the requirement of HPCL preparation. Okay, so join your hands with your PDF for this HPCL preparation. Your PDF started a module, a dedicated module for this for this HPCL preparation. Thank you.